a godly approach to victory over depression, victory over everything. That's right, think about it. A godly approach we're going to look at to victory over depression, but not just over depression, but victory over everything. And you can think, how is that possible? It's simple. It's not just two words, Jesus Christ. It's four words, Jesus Christ in you. He is what makes the Christian life so fantastic. Praise God. This is what I want, is on my heart to share with you. I am Bob Bennett from Victory Over Depression, Bob Ministries, with another short, encouraging word for you to look within you. See, because that's where the answer is. The deep need of everyone's heart is to be unconditionally loved and accepted and to have meaning and purpose to life. And those are spiritual needs that can only be filled from God, by God Himself, God living in His creation. And you see, on our own, we could never make it. But that's why Jesus has come. He died on a cross in our place for our sins. Not only has He died in the place, but He rose from the dead. He rose from the dead and He now lives in each born-again believer. So look at that. When the Father sees you, He sees Jesus. See. A lot of Christians, they know that in theology, in theory. However, to apply it every day. I mean, they know he lives in there and that they don't live by faith. But to live that life by faith every day. See, what happens, especially coming from a, a, a broken background, especially with decades of depression, many people who have this, they've never had that broken heart healed. So think of it, there's a deep, deep pain. For some people it's so painful they don't know how to deal with it. Let alone even accept it that it's there. They always say, well now that I'm born again, I'll give my best for Jesus, I'll, I'll witness to people, I'll read the Bible more, I'll pray more, I'll pray in tongues, I'll get all these spiritual gifts, I'll lead this ministry, I'll do this, I'll serve here. But deep down, those are all blessed things to do. But the main priority first is letting God heal your broken heart which basically is developing that personal, intimate relationship with Jesus. So instead of hiding it, and as painful as it is, God wants us to be transparent. It's painful, no doubt, because you know when you're transparent, you're, you're real. And that's what I love to be. I love to be real with people. May God look at the deepest depths of our hearts. He loves us right where we're at. So you hear that? God loves you right where you're at. And more importantly also, He's not going to leave you there. He's not going to just leave you there. He's not disappointed when you, when you, when your heart is off. But he wants to love you. He wants to, you to absorb that deep love he has for you. It's Christ in you, the hope of, the hope of glory. That's why he lives in you. It's painful, no doubt. But this is the godly approach, developing that intimate relationship with Jesus. So I pray you consider opening your heart more, as painful as it is. You see, he knows all about that pain. That's why he went to a cross. He took it all and he buried it in his tomb. That's how he showed me to overcome depression. I don't look at depression anymore. I look at Jesus in me, because depression he crucified and all his consequences. And in God's eyes, it's dead. And if it's dead, he buried it in his tomb and he left it there. So now when he sees me, he sees his son Jesus living in me. So now I have to apply by faith Galatians 2.20. I've been crucified with Christ, yet I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. And the life I live, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave his life for me. That's what you need to look at consistently. And I say that consistently every day. Be gentle and patient with yourself. God is doing a great work in you, but He wants you to be honest with yourself and accept that. He, he wants you to just open up whatever's on your heart, whatever's on your mind with Him. But it's more importantly to receive that love. And maybe many of you just need to give yourself permission for God to love you. That's what's so painful. And you see, that's why we can bury ourselves in Christian ministry and forget all about that. But normal Christian living is Christ living in you. Hallelujah. Praise God. So I'm sure I'll, I'll share more on this on this subject. It's on my heart. There's always so much to share. But take that, because Christ in you is not just victory over depression. Christ in you is victory over everything. Because Christ in you is whom the devil is petrified of. 
the God in you, Christ in you, the devil is petrified of you releasing him. That's why he'll try and distract you to avoid the deep pain, to, uh, to drown yourself in doing Christian things for God, but not letting God heal your broken heart. So receive that in your spirit. Spend intimate, quiet time alone with him. It's Jesus in you, living his life through you. So may all who see you see Jesus in you. And I pray you've seen Jesus in me. Because that's the great joy of being a Christian. Letting Jesus, letting Jesus be seen in my every action, in my words, and everything I do, and I falter. But I pray. So if this has encouraged you, please share it with anyone else. I'm also set up with VOD Ministries to do speaking engagements. You can um, contact me at 718-324-1757. 718 718-324-1757. Or the email is VOD for Victory Over Depression. VOD.Depression at gmail.com. VOD.Depression at gmail.com. So be encouraged. God loves you abundantly. Look at the Christ in you. Receive this and play this video as often as you want. And God wants to heal so many broken hearts. So if you're encouraged, share this. If you have a pastor you think this would help, share it with him. Because I am available. Because it's only Christ in me. And I had depression for decades. And I've been walking now in decades in victory of Christ in me. Just growing every day. It's all about him, period. God bless you. I took a little bit longer than I wanted to, but I'm grateful to get this word out there. See you soon on another video along the same line. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Amen. The Father is delighted in you. He sees you. He sees Jesus in you. How consistently do you see the same? It's always a good start right there. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah.